What up, YouTube? This is Chef Boy RG here. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So what does that mean? That means greens, dressing, ham, turkey, rolls, you name it. Everything. But what's Thanksgiving without dessert? And that's what I'm going to give you tonight. I'm going to give you the tips to making the easiest, fastest, smoothest sweet potato pie out there and make you the envy of your family. But what's the point of talking anymore? Let's get right into it. All right, so first thing first, let's get our ingredients out of the way. All right, we're going, for this recipe, you're gonna need sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract, don't get that imitation junk. We don't use that imitation junk around here in Chef Boy RG's kitchen. You're gonna need a lot of butter. Don't worry about the measurements right now, we're gonna to get to that later. And good old nutmeg. And of course, you can't forget the star of the show, sweet potatoes. This recipe calls for maybe one pound of sweet potatoes for each pie. We have a big family, so we're gonna make, I'm shooting for two pies. We're gonna make two pies. So we're gonna need around four to six sweet potatoes, and we'll go from there. I kinda know this recipe, so I don't really measure everything. I'll give you all the accurate measurements in the description. All right, you're gonna get your sweet potatoes. I'm gonna put it in the water gonna boil your sweet potatoes for around 40 to 45 minutes or until soft once sweet potatoes are done boiling you'll be able to tell let me zoom in because they will actually be soft to the touch get the sweet potatoes boiled now we're going to bring them over to the sink because what we're going to do is we're going to rinse all of the skin completely off of the sweet potatoes First thing we want to do is get rid of some of these dark spots you see. Right there, right there, right there. You want to remove as many of those you can because that'll really mess up or mess with the color of your pie. Half the battle of making food is visual. So we want to make it pretty. So let's get rid of some of that stuff. Now we're at the point where the magic happens. You remember back when you were a kid? Your mom or your grandma would make this good sweet potato pie for you and you were eating it, minding your own business and then you nearly choked on the, string, the little stringy bits that was left in the pie. Grandma nearly took you out. But here's where our recipe is going to be different. We're going to get rid of our fibers by using either a food processor or a blender. Now I have a food processor but it's small so we're going to use our blender today. So like I said before, I don't have a big food processor. So if any one of you uh, cooking utensil companies want to sponsor your boy, it'll be greatly appreciated. You know what I'm saying? So we're ready to put our sweet potatoes in a blender. So I left out an ingredient, but I left it out on purpose. This recipe calls for a whole cup of milk, but we're going to kick it up a notch. We're going to use heavy whipping cream cup. Let it rip. All done. Oh. Ah. Okay. Now that we have everything, we have our sweet potato mix, all the rest of our ingredients. Oh, one important thing. At the, at the beginning of the video, I forgot to mention eggs. You gotta have your eggs. The original recipe calls for two eggs. We're doubling the recipe, so we have four. So don't forget your eggs. If you don't have eggs, you don't have a pie. Put the, the easiest thing first. We're gonna get our butter together. This calls for a half a cup of melted butter, so we're gonna need a whole cup. And I'm not measuring this either, because if you don't know by now, the measurements, tablespoons all the way down the cups are on the package, so one whole stick equals half a cup, so we need two of these. Got that ready? So now we're just gonna pop that in the microwave. Our butter melted. Now all we have to do is mix our ingredients together. So let's start with the sweet potato. Get all of that out. Don't leave, leave as little. We don't wanna waste anything. We don't wanna waste, we wanna use as much as possible. The next step would be to add eggs. Nutmeg. Don't put any extra nutmeg. That nutmeg is kind of 
strong. And our shift. Off the one. We're gonna use one cup of white sugar and we're gonna use our secret brown sugar. We'll do a half a cup of that and just go ahead and make the other half. We have to mix all this together. Want to get it good and mixed because we want those eggs. Break those eggs up. You know what? It's 21st century, right? This hand stuff ain't for me. Grab the pie crust out of the freezer so we're ready to fill these bad boys up. Bruh. Don't waste anything. As my mother used to say, there's always starving children somewhere. So we want to get as much of this out. We want to be this or waste as less as possible. Remember these sweet potato pies will not self-level. So you wanna go ahead and level that out. Real, go over real smooth with the spatula. Now, if you've been baking as long as I have, you always notice that the outside will cook faster than the inside, which means the outside of this crisp will be dark by the time you get finished. So you don't want that. What we can do, get you some foil. Go around the outside edge of your pie. Not gonna hurt it, it's gonna come right off once the pie is done. That's gonna protect it from that extra heat so I cook this crust stay nice and golden brown when you finish. Oven's already preheated to 350. Now we're gonna pop them into the oven for uh, about one hour. And just like that, you got simple sweet potato pie. Beautiful pie. Just like that, you have a simple holiday favorite that everybody's gonna love. I'm telling you, once they get a bite of this sweet potato pie, they'll never go back to it. So if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share it with everybody this holiday season so they can get this recipe, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of these videos by Chef Boy RG. And remember, there's not a better place to be than with Chef Boy RG.